Hello, and welcome to the Frample YouTube channel. My name is Maka, and today we're going to be talking about Frample's Starlink Management Portal. For those of you who haven't heard about it, it's a powerful way for you to control, monitor, and have full access over your Starlink kit. And it works whether you are a provider or simply a user, whether you have one kit or multiple kits. It's very easy to use, very simple, and it's completely free for everybody who subscribes to Starlink through Frampole. So today we'll just be going over the key features and the best way to navigate around it. Let's get into it. So firstly, you want to head to your browser. You can use any browser, any browser of your choice. Uh, it supports uh, multiple browsers. And you want to head to frampole.webmon.ai. Once you are here, you'll see your login screen. And it's, it's very simple. All you need is your email address and your password. Uh, password of choice, you can customize the password to whatever you want it to be. And you sign in. Once you're in, you'll see this page. And to your left are your service lines. Your service lines are all your kids. And you have different controls that you can access over here. Firstly, this will indicate if your kid's offline or if it's online. And the green obviously is online and the red, such as this kid, is, is offline. You can reboot the kit or reboot the terminal from this, uh, from this screen. And you have other important information like your address, uh, your uptime, kit ID, all over here. This map essentially shows all your service lines, all your kits, where they're located. And this, 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 this uh, map is worldwide. You know, you can have your kits located anywhere around the world and you're able to use this, you know, this, this portal. And it's so, so detailed that you can zoom into street level, you know, wherever you are having your service line as far as street level, you can zoom in. So let's now click on one of our service lines. And once you do that, you'll come to this screen. And in this section, you are able to view all your data and in-depth statistics about your kid's performance over a time period that you suggest. You can change the time period over here. As long as the kit has been up, you can select information from as far as the operation date of the kit. And you'll see statistics on your highest usage, average usage, total usage. And if you scroll down, you can track the daily usage of the kit from each for each day. You're able to see how much uh, data has been used. And you can come down here, you have more detailed information about your download speed, your upload speed, latency, ping drop rate, signal quality. You can see if there's anything that's been blocking your, your kit when it happened, how it happened. And this is a very helpful way for you to be able to troubleshoot where you are struggling to figure out what's going on with my kids. It's a very helpful way to do that. Coming down here, we've ha we have our router telemetry. And this gives you more detailed information about, you know, who's connected to the router. You can see connected clients here and Ethernet connected clients. These are your wireless and wired clients, how many are connected uh, at a time and any other information that you may need in that point in time. And like I said, it makes it easy for you to troubleshoot where the problems are coming from if you ever face any challenges with your connection. And we recently added that you can now have multiple routers connected to the portal, meaning that you can manage everything in one place if you have multiple routers connected to your, to your kit. Um, as you can see, this one is offline. There will be no data. And coming down here, you have your IP allocation telemetry. Uh, you know, we can, you can even change your public IP to default. This allows you to, to edit any other settings that you may need to within this, this portal. And down here, we have our router configuration. And all you have to do is select your router, come down to config, You'll be able to change your network name and you can change your network password. And it's very simple, very easy. All you have to do is type in the new password and then click save at the bottom. Additionally, you can put your router in bypass mode. 
And it's very simple, you just have to toggle on and you're going to be in bypass mode. So recently, we added DNS filtering to our Starlink management portal. And it's a very powerful way that you can filter out any unwanted content through your Starlink router. And we've added our own pre-made options, but you can add your own custom DNS servers right there. And it's very easy to use. All you have to do is toggle whether you want to turn on malware protection or malware and adult content or your own custom. And it's, it's powerful whether you are just the home user and you don't want the children viewing the wrong kind of uh, content or from a work environment, ensuring that the team members are not accessing the wrong kind of uh, content during work hours. And yeah, I think that's it for today. And remember, this portal is completely free if you are subscribed to Starlink through Fampo. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any other content like this. And until next time, stay innovative.